Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all excellent. I've got a cup of tea in my hand and I have the Rocktron Repliflex on my desk. We're going to play around with it and I'm just going to show off some of the sounds in there. This isn't going to be like a comprehensive how to dial in your Repliflex style video because I've had this for over a decade and I've never been able to get it to work. And for some reason, I pulled it out today. I kind of cleaned it. I sprayed some compressed air into it. I sprayed some contact cleaner into it, which I have done basically over the last 10 years intermittently every time I've tried to use it. And it's actually worked today, more or less. There's a few things which either I don't know how to use it or it's being buggy, but I'm getting some sounds out of this thing, which is a miracle for me. So I want to show off some sounds. The Repliflex, unlike Rocktron's kind of better known Intel effects, basically goes out to emulate Stompbox style effects. It was kind of ahead of the curve with this, where Rack Gear was on the way out pedals were very much on their way back in. So Rocktron bought out this unit that was a rack that basically tries to go out and, you know, emulate some classic stomp boxes that people were really into. So rather than say the Intel effects giving you eight really pristine delay lines that you can modulate, and then you kind of need to understand the architecture of how it works to make a basic chorus, this just gives you a chorus and it gives you a phaser and a flanger and a rotary speaker. There's a speaker sim in there. I'm not sure if I'm brave enough to actually try it out. But we're going to fire up. We're going to hear some of my favorite sounds. And yeah, let's just see what's in here. I'm also going to do some exploring while I do this, because like I said, this hasn't worked for over a decade for me. So kind of a nice opportunity for me to hear some sounds and to share it with you. Let's go. Let's get started. I've got my Les Paul with some TV Jones P90s plugged into the Repliflex. That's coming out in stereo into a pair of JTM45 models in my Axe FX3 with no effects. <laughs> I'm going to kick this in now and we are going to hear a panning delay with the high cut cranked. Now, a lot of the time with these sort of units, the factory presets kind of stink, but I think they're actually pretty good on the Repliflex. For example, this blue chorus effect, I'm guessing is going for some type of boss chorus, probably like a CE2. There's a little bit of pitch detune on there as well, which is really, really sweet. <laughs> There's also a preset to emulate the small stone. A couple of other presets that I like in this kind of first bank, there is a phase 100. That's pretty cool in front of a high gain amp as well. Surprisingly kind of chewy and analog, which I really like. The other preset on here, which is really cool, is this Tremolux preset. Check it out. <laughs> 
Dare I say that one kind of sounds like the Eventide Undulator algorithm, which I'm a big fan of in stuff like the Mod Factor and the H9. The flanger in here also sounds pretty cool as well. I'll give you a quick little run through with a clean sound and a dirty sound. So let's kick that in. <laughs> One other function that I'm quite fond of is there's a four band EQ. They've labeled the EQ bands bass, middle, treble, and presence, but you can pretty much set the middle and treble uh, in the actual mid range, which is kind of cool. So, what I've done is cut some bass and boost the mid range and the treble somewhere between like 800 and 1400 hertz, really slammed it. And it's kind of a cool 80s style pre boost into a crunchy amp. <laughs> You can also sacrifice the chorus pitch shift flanger and phaser for a rotary speaker in its place. There's a preset on here called Cold Shot and into a clean app, you know what? Like I said, it's not too bad. <laughs> There's a compressor, let's hear that in and out. The reverb can get way over the top. It almost kind of sounds like a cross between a spring and a room algorithm. So I'll give you a really over the top example and then a more subtle example. <laughs> We talked about the pitch detune a little bit earlier together with the chorus, but it can also do classic octave down or sub octave effects. For example, this is a factory preset, which is out to emulate the old Boss OC2. <laughs> So it's kind of an interesting anomaly. It's a very different animal to something like the Intel effects, which is, in my opinion, a real classic rack effect. It gives you fine control over things like delay lines and choruses and pitch detune and all those kind of things that were super popular in the 80s and things that you really needed to know what they did in order to use them to their maximum potential and actually get some usable sounds out of them. But this, was kind of ahead of its time. Now there's so many individual stomp boxes and like multi effects and modelers which go out to emulate classic effects. Uh, but 
this is probably one of the first units that did that. You could argue Rocktron kind of missed the boat by putting it in a rack mount unit, uh, because if somebody really wanted funky old vintage effects pedals with a couple of knobs, they probably don't want to buy a rack, and the people who were into racks probably didn't want uh, something that basically had the training wheels on, so it was a little bit more like vintage effects pedals, but I think it's kind of cool. I'm pretty glad that I finally got it to work somewhat. It's still uh, not fully functional on my end. Like if you go to one preset and tweak something, it seems to carry across to others. I don't know what's going on there, but it does sound much better than I expected in there and things like that octave down. The rotary speaker sounds okay, but the delays, especially the chorus and the flanger and the phaser, I think sound pretty sweet. So I'm gonna play you all out on that delay I showed you at the beginning with the flanger because that's probably my favorite set of sounds in here. Let me know what you think of the Repliflex. Do you still have one? Did you used to have one of these? What did you use it with? I could see a lot of people uh, going for something like this in front of their preamp and then having an Intel effects at the back end for all your kind of delays and things like that. So uh, yeah, there's the Rocktron Repliflex. It is what it is. Let's hear it again. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.